Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm memory planning for the week of October 19th through the 25th and I have a kind of different kit for you guys today. Um, this kit is from Blush and Indigo and when I received it a few months ago, I just thought immediately that it would be so perfect for the fall. These like neutral and earthy tones just really remind me of the season. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. It's definitely a very different kit from ones that I'm used to. This stuff has more of like an abstract art kind of feeling um, so I don't know it'll be really interesting but anyways here we have the full boxes and some washi strips at the bottom we've got the bottom washi more washi strips I think this is an additional full box here with a quote that says set your goals and crush them and then we've got some build do stickers and quarter boxes on the side this next page has a bunch of like sidebar boxes that you can choose from. These two are just like the regular Monday through Sunday, but you also get a weekly cleaning and a weekly spending list. And then we've got a bunch of like different functional items up here. On this page, we have some bow check flags and habit trackers, quarter boxes, um, some date covers and date dots, some icons, a weekend banner, and then some text stickers. And the last page here has a ton of headers half boxes and more washi strips here on the bottom. So that's everything in the kit. This is definitely a different format from what I'm used to, um, but I'm also planning on pulling in some rose gold foiling because I just kind of thought that would match really nicely with this kit. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi first, and then I will continue to work on the spread from there. This kit came with two different bottom washi strips. One is that really thick um, kind of floral pattern one, and then there's this really thin orange piece, which I decided to layer on top of the other one, and I really like how that turned out. Um, the washi was a little bit too uh, wide for my planner, I guess, so I did trim it off a little bit, and the tool that I'm using is called the Slice Precision Cutter. I got it off of Amazon, but I think they also sell it at Michael's. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to the sidebar. I placed down a full box at the very top and then used a washi strip or a little header to separate out the full box and the rest of the sidebar. I first placed down a habit tracker to track my working out, um, which is something I have been tracking for many years now. That shoe sticker I pulled in, oh my gosh, I can't really see that in the light, but I think it's from Simply Said Life. I then placed down this build do sticker upside down because I wanted to cover up that build do part with a sticker and I used a happy moment sticker in my writing that is from planner just for you and the shop is on vacation right now because the owner Sophie just had a baby. I don't think we have an anticipated reopening date yet but if I hear of one then I will definitely let you guys know. That gold foiled heart is from Hazel Sticker. And then for my dinners, I initially put down a scallop label, but I then decided to remove it for a quarter box instead. The rose gold foiled utensil sticker I pulled in is from Paper Muse Crafts, I believe. And then at the very bottom, I just closed out the space with a small piece of washi. And then I go ahead and place down all of my date covers and also the date dots that came with the kit. I go ahead and fast forward through this really quickly um, because there's not much to talk about in terms of placing down those date covers. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move on to Monday. On Monday, I first placed down a header at the very top. Then I used a teardrop sticker from the kit with a coffee from Hazel sticker to mark that I grabbed some matcha latte on Monday morning. I had decided to switch it up from my usual coffee. And then underneath that, I placed down this paper clip bow sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that I had a testing appointment with a student that day. Some of my students have chosen not to come back to school in person, which is totally understandable. Um, so I do have to make appointments to see them for our testing sessions. Um, so anyways, moving on, I then placed down a today header with a half box and I used my pilot brush lettering pen to mark that I got some happy mail from h and I had placed an order a while ago. That shopping bag sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. And then I placed down a full box at the bottom. In the remaining space, I used a washi strip with a burrito sticker from Plants with Vanessa, and she recently just reopened, which is super exciting. Um, so definitely check her out for some great food stickers. Um, then we did some house hunting that night. I know this was so, so long ago because uh, we were still looking for a house at this point, but I am definitely still catching up with my memory spreads. That bow sticker is from Nikki Plus 3. 
On Tuesday, I started by placing down a to-do header and used a circle icon from the kit with a glasses sticker. I believe that one is from the Pretty Pink Co. And I used that to mark another testing appointment that I had that morning. I placed down a full box in the middle of the day. And then on top of that, I used a laptop sticker. This one is from Paper and Milk, but it was one of the very first stickers she had released. So I don't think these are available anymore, um, but I had that color that matched the kit really nicely. So I decided to pull that in. And then underneath the full box, I used a half box to mark that I got some happy mail from Rachel from Gathered Plans. She had sent along a ton of goodies, which I just shared in my haul video. So definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. And and that heart sticker, I believe, is from Hazel Sticker. I mustered up the energy to do a quick 15 minute workout that day. Um, so I decided to mark that with a rose gold foiled shoe sticker. And I believe that is from planning like a pro. And then at the very bottom, I used a scallop sticker and a nail polish icon, which is from my leftover stash to mark that I painted my nails. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a today header with a flag and another bow sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had on Wednesday. I had some testing and observing to do for work that day. Really not much interesting going on in my life at this point. Um, so to mark that, I used a sticky note from Hazel Sticker and a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3. I really like using those sticky note stickers like that. Um, I think it just adds a little something to the spread. And then I placed down a half box at the very bottom. I wanted to mark that I went and got gas and then did some grocery shopping after work. So I used a circle icon from the kit and layered that grocery bag sticker on top of it. Um, that is from Hazel Sticker. And then at the very end of the night, we just did more house hunting and I used this little house sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And moving to the top, I first pulled in a quarter box. Then I used a coffee sticker. Um, this is the same one that I used on Monday, I believe. And that's from Hazel Sticker. I used that to mark that I made a pumpkin spice Dalgona coffee, which was so good. I basically just added a sprinkle of pumpkin spice powder into the Dalgona mix and it turned out so good. And it's been my go-to coffee ever since. Underneath that, I used a deco piece from the kit to mark that I had a really busy testing day on Thursday. I then placed down a half box and used a phone sticker from the Pretty Pink Coat to mark something that I had to do with my new work iPads. And then at the very bottom, I did record a voice over that night, so I used a quarter box and this YouTube icon from Paper Muse Crafts. Above that, I wanted to mark watching Schitt's Creek, which is definitely one of my favorite shows of all time, as you guys probably already know, because I have now documented watching all six seasons of it in my planners. And again, I'm using my Pilot brush lettering pen to mark that. And the TV icon is from Brandy's Shop. I decided to pull in this cute little foiled heart icon, and that's from the Pretty Pink Co. And then I go ahead and move to Friday. I first placed down a full box in the middle of the day on Friday, and then moving back to the top, I used a washi strip, or I'm sorry, a patterned header at the very top, um, and then I wanted to mark that Friday was Crazy Sock Day and the Jogathon at our school. Um, so to mark that, I used some shoe stickers, and I believe that one is from Paper Muse Crafts. I placed down a deco sticker from the kit to mark an IEP that I had that day. And then I go ahead and move to the very bottom. At the end of the night, we watched a movie. So I pulled in this movie marquee from a shop called Planning on Point, I believe. It was like one of the first shops I ever purchased from four and a half years ago. So I'm not sure if she's still open. Um, but above that, I wanted to mark doing date night with my boyfriend. Um, so I used a rose gold foil date night sticker from Panda Bird Designs paired with a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy dreams. We watched Borat 2 that night, which was so funny. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, even though I think I still like the first one better. It was just such a classic. Um, but anyways, that popcorn sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. And that was pretty much it for Friday. Now moving on to the weekend, I wanted to use the weekend banner from the kit, so I decided to create a little background there at the top using some washi strips. I did have to trim down one of them because it was a little bit thicker, um, so I had to make it the same size. And once I go ahead and place down the weekend banner, I then place down a full box on Saturday. 
There was some empty space at the top of the full box, so I pulled in a sleeping mask sticker from Laven Forest to mark that I had slept in that morning, which is always nice. And then I made another pumpkin spiced Dalgona coffee, so I decided to mark that using a quarter box and a really cute autumn coffee sticker from Paper and Milk. I then had a phone call with one of my friends, which I marked using a phone sticker, and I believe that one is from the Pretty Pink Co. And underneath that, I placed down a half box with a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I worked on a puzzle that afternoon. At the very bottom, I placed down a circle icon and layered a TV from the Pretty Pink Co. on top of that to mark that we started the show Queen's Gambit, which is on Netflix and it's about chess. Um, it was really, really good. I'm not super into chess or really good at it at all, but after watching it, I may or may not have downloaded chess on my phone um, because it just really made me want to play. I used that little deco piece to mark downloading chess on my phone. Again, it was like a horrible spiral because then I got mad every time I lost to the computer. So um, I ended up deleting it for my own sanity. But anyways, then on Sunday, I started the day by placing down a to-do header. Um, I had some pizza for breakfast, which is always delicious. So I used a pizza icon from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then did some cleaning that morning, so I used a foiled bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro and a cleaning day icon in my writing, and that's from Planner Just For You, and then I placed down some boxes to fill up the rest of the day. On the quarter box, I placed down a house sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs, and then I placed down a half box to mark going to see six houses that day. It was definitely very exhausting, but also really fun getting to see like different layouts and things like that. It's actually a really enjoyable process for me. Um, but yeah, we did go see quite a few that day. The bow sticker is from Nikki Plus Three, and then at the end of the night, we watched more Shit's Creek, which I marked using a TV icon from the Sparkly Studio. I switched out the deco piece on Saturday because that pomegranate is like on the half box right next to it. And I didn't want two of the same designs right next to each other. So I switched it out for a different deco piece instead. And then I go ahead and move back to my sidebar to track all my happy moments and my dinners and then my workouts, which I think I only did twice that week. So not a whole lot going on in that department. Um, so anyways, that is it for this week's spread. I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit, which is a ton. Um, just because this kit is so full and being a white space planner, I don't tend to use a whole lot of stickers and I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I had pulled into the spread. As usual, I do a quick walkthrough so you guys can see the details and the foiling a little bit better from different angles. I think this came out so gorgeous in such a unique way. Um, again, like I mentioned in the intro, this type of artwork isn't something I pull into my planner a lot. Um, so it was definitely really fun getting to do it. I feel like it's like a whole different style. And um, I felt that the rose gold complemented the kit really, really nicely. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please let me know if you guys have any questions about where any stickers came from or just, I don't know, anything else in general. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and for supporting me and sticking by me even when I do have long periods of absence, just when life gets crazy. Um, I am pretty behind right now, but I'm working on catching up slowly but surely. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I hope you guys are all doing well this holiday season and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.